in the world title. Stephen Hendry, Dennis Taylor, good evening. A very good evening, Hazel, and a very good evening to everyone at home. If this evening's session Thank you. is Green anything night. like this Morning afternoon's, break. we're all in for a treat. So Ronnie gets the opening frame underway. And as Steve and John were talking about, it's a pretty good break off. I commentated on that break of 92. And it's one of the finest breaks I've ever seen at the Crucible. Well, if the black goes into the same pocket, he might just be tempted with this red. Now you see it. Immediately gives himself a great chance here, Stephen. Yeah, those reds are always tricky when you're so close. The cue ball and the object ball are so close together, but didn't touch the sides. Hasn't quite come back far enough. The pot success rate, as you can see, Ali at 89%. Eight. Let me show you the white just stopping there. He was hoping to spin it back a little further. This is a tricky one into the left middle. Ronnie yeah, and Tricky that he knew he was leaving Ali. An easy opener if he missed it. So an important frame for Carter. We all know what a fantastic front runner Ronnie is. The last thing you want to do is give him a three, four, five frame lead. So that's Ali's first pot One. for just under half an hour. 257 points Ronnie had scored without Ali replying. But he's got a good chance here. chatting to his good friend Steve and Tom backstage just after the match and they said they were uh, they were quite pleased even though he was 5-3 behind couldn't do anything about the last two frames so they're still pretty positive in Ali Carter's camp and there's the boys uh, Steve and Tom and Peter on the right there who's always very laid back Needs a bit of an angle Nine. here to get out onto that red that's to the left of the bunch. Might just have it. Yeah, you can run it off two cushions and out onto that one just to the left of your picture. Sixteen. Seventeen. There weren't a good pack to go into there. Twenty-two. 
Camden into the pink. It could have gone wrong. There's one in the middle of the bunch that'll pot into the right corner, and the others are open nicely. So this is the key shot here. If he can push through or screw back and get himself onto a colour, he'll be moving balls here, though. I played that beautifully. What a delicate little cannon that was. Just have a look at this. To move that out of the way. Give him 10 out of 10 for that. As you mentioned, Stephen, this is just what Ali needed because if he had a fallen three frames behind, although there's a long way to go, Ronnie could have got on a roll, so he's doing just what he wanted. Ali will know full well the importance of this session. Playing nine frames tonight, so even if they only lost it 5-4, he still makes them three frames behind going into tomorrow, so I feel he really needs to win this session tonight. Thank you. 29. Yeah, Dirty. Ronnie hasn't made many mistakes, and uh, the plan is uh, to punish him for that mistake he did make. It was a tricky red in the middle he missed, but it was the positional shot he didn't quite play as he intended. But it's so key for Ali to make sure he punishes that mistake. He had to finish up taking this red in the middle. It wasn't the one he intended to be on. Meanwhile, Ali's got to negotiate. There's a little gap between the pink and reds. And he's got to be careful he doesn't go into that left middle pocket. Thirty-eight. Slightly out of position. Green, if he can reach it, should be okay, though. He can come off a couple of cushions, finish nicely on a red. If he can stretch over and reach the green, he can stun off the box side cushion and bring the white hat into the middle of the table. Might be able to run it in and up between the yellow and brown, but somewhere near his head with the cue ball would be good here. That's a bit too hard. Needs a bit of luck now. If the red next to the pink goes, he's fine. 41. Just about. Yeah, he missed one like these this afternoon, Dennis. When it was very tight. It cost him the frame. I think he was 40 odd points in front. position. That wasn't the red he intended to be on, but uh, it was good judgment there to miss that pink on the way past. Oh, he's hit it too hard again. Now he's going to have to play the one into the left corner. He 47. just overscrewed that slightly, and now he's got another little cannon to negotiate. And if he runs this in and cannons the other red, he's got to be careful he doesn't block the pocket. If he nudges the other red towards the pocket, might just cover the black. Just depends. Okay. Wow. It's a thin snick now. It shows the importance of keeping close control of that cue ball. is a big shot here because he's going to go into those four reds. This is a must cut back. <laughs> well, 
last thing he is thought he was the white was going to finish up near the ball cushion. But he has a red over the middle pocket. And just be careful you don't go into the right middle pocket. This one over the corner. Fifty-six. It's amazing when you play one positional shot badly, Dennis. It just seems to multiply the more the more pots you play. You can't seem to get yourself back in the prime position. Looks like he's, looks like he's going to protect his lead, though. Play a safety shot. Brown. Put the put the brown safe. Yeah, don't blame him for, for that choice. But having said that, he could have dropped himself in all sorts of trouble here. Ronnie can roll in behind the brown, so that was a bit careless from uh, Ali. <laughs> oh, has he got the snooker? Can he see enough of the red near the blue? He can pot it if he can see it. Because Ronnie didn't get in behind the brown tight. This will cut. Now you see it. Having to dig down to avoid the off in the corner pocket. One. And that's fine. He's on the green. Ronnie just misjudged that attempted snooker. Four. That's the one he wanted. Five. The best possible start. For Ali Carter and his fans. So all the terrific snooker 21. we've seen from Ronnie, Harry Clark is only going to be one frame behind, so that says a lot about this young player's game. And he's gone past the 90%, 91% pot success rate now. Doesn't matter where that red goes. Ali Carter, 28. The best possible start for Ali Carter. That earlier break of 56 paved the way for him to take the frame. He's now just one behind at 5-4. It's a great start uh, for Ronnie uh, O'Sullivan in this match, but Ali Carter wins the first frame of the evening. Now, we always talk about the R word, retirement, in relation to Ronnie O'Sullivan, because he's always hinted over the last few seasons that he might be ready to pack up the game or take a sabbatical or at least take a long break. And he was at it again yesterday, hinting that he might be ready to go at the very top this time. 36, knocking on 37, you know, what you, you know... How long can you keep going on? I think I think the chances of me winning are getting less and less and less. Um, I think I've squeezed as much out as I can, and uh, you know I, I'm 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 pretty got to give myself a pat on the back for that in some sort of ways. But you know what, it, it, it can't go on forever, and I've always wanted to go out on the best possible high. Pete Sampras for me done it in the best possible way, and that was always an ambition for me. I was even thinking of stopping in 2008. Cause I thought, well, where do you go from here? But you know. Um, 